Hi, I'm David Wong. Welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm going to share with you a number one secret to becoming a great martial artist. If you learn this, not only will you become a really good fighter, but you also become very successful in life too. Do you want to know why? Stay tuned and you're going to learn a secret right now. Hi, so what is the number one secret to be a very good martial artist? Well, I think it's to have good balance. Because if you don't have good balance, you won't be able to defend yourself because you, any little tiny push will knock you over. It doesn't even have to be a hard attack. What if you have no balance and you try to attack? Well, if you just try to attack with on one foot and try to punch something, do you think that is very strong? Probably not, unless you're like really, really powerful. Okay. So if you don't have good balance, you will not be able to attack effectively and you won't be able to defend it effectively. All right, so that goes in life too. Think about it. What kind of balance do you need in life in order to be successful? Do you think it's better to have good balance? And you're probably asking, what kind of balance you're talking about in life? Well, there's many ways you can balance yourself in life, especially your health. Do you have a balanced body? Literally, you can say, do you have good balance in your body? Like, can you balance yourself when somebody pushes you? So we learned that in martial arts. So we feel and we actually internalize actual balance, like physical balance in your body. Now, how about other things in your body? Well, there's your diet, right? What kind of balanced diet do you have? Is it imbalanced? Do you have lots of junk food? Or do you have a healthy, wholesome diet? So that's food. What else? Exercise, all right? Do you have a balanced lifestyle? Do you have a balanced um, mind, right? Do you have too many negative thoughts, or too much anxiousness, too much anger, depression, uh, sadness, there's a lot of those, and we all experience that in life. But do you have balance? Do you, do you uh, know how to have fun? Right? Are you working too hard? Do you have a balanced um, work ethic? Are you working too much? Are you playing too much? All right? So it's all about balance, because in martial arts, in Taoism, we have the yin and yang. Right? There is the masculine and the feminine, and there's the uh, external and the internal. And the list goes on between the two things that balance each other throughout the uh, entire universe. Everything is uh, in balance. Okay? So think about it. What kind of things are you out of balance in your life? How about spiritually? Do you have a balanced spiritual life? Um, are, you, are you meditating? Are you praying or whatever um, religious activity that you do? Or any kind of, uh, does it even have to be religious? Or any kind of um, practice that you do? Or whatever... Um, higher power that you believe in? Are you spending time pursuing those things? Or are you spending too much time in the material world that you forgot about the spiritual world? Or are you, for, are you spending too much time in the spiritual world you forgot about the material world? Okay, so you need to balance what's going on in your life. Right? So, as I showed you, if you don't have balance, as a martial artist, you'll just get knocked over easily. So think about it. If you had very little balance of all those things that I mentioned in your life, what happens when problems come? Because problems are going to come in your life. They're important. It's unavoidable. Everybody has problems. You're probably going to get knocked over easily. Okay. So how can you increase your balance in your life? Think about all those things. So in my prosperity pyramid, the first thing that you need to balance is life force. You need to get that life force because without that, you cannot create balance in your body. And once you create balance in your body, then you can create balance in your mind. And once you create balance in your mind, then you can create balance in your spirit. And then it becomes a um, cascading effect upwards but you need to have those uh, you need to have the base in order to build it up so the first way to do is to um, get a solid foundation with your health solid foundation with life force if you don't have life force you won't have the health you won't have health you won't have a, a healthy mind and a balanced mind if you don't have a balanced mind you won't have a very strong spiritual life either what specifically can you do to balance in your life and how is that going to help you become a more effective person be more successful in whatever you do either in your school in your career in your relationships spiritually so i hope this video helps you i'm david wong and we'll see you soon make sure you subscribe to this channel click the notification bell to get more lessons and more videos and uh, check out all the other videos on this channel too so i'll see you soon